I'd say they're real close. I think the closest they've been since probably 2000, 2007, um, for a number of reasons. One, we've got a good young core of players coming through uh, that are performing. They're, they're doing well, they're scoring goals. Um, the U.S. is kind of in a bit of a transition still. Mm -hmm. Still got some uh, of their old veterans in their squad. Um, and the young players haven't really hit the ground running too much for them yet. Um, they've got a new coach that they're still getting to learn probably as well. So it's a kind of a bit of both, but uh, the gap is uh, as, as close as it's been for a number of years. Oh, it's big. I mean, they've got two games now. I mean, obviously the goal is they've got to get four points. If they get if they can get uh, a win at home and then a draw away, if you're thinking it in that terms, if you can get the get the four points, you get in, and advance yourself to the to the next round. That'll get you then to the top six of of Concacaf, and that's the goal right now. If they can get the that top six ranking to get themselves into the hex, because um, the way they've reformatted the the qualifying. Uh, these, these two games are massive for them. Obviously, uh, the U.S. are guaranteed in the in the in the hex. Um, so these games probably um, don't mean as much to them in terms of ranking points. Probably more on just uh, winning the competition itself for them. But for Canada, I think it's massive just for uh, not just doing well and getting to the next stage of it, but getting into the uh, into the top six.